Now what is going on there is Kapowski. Welcome to your third WordPress tutorials. And in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about uh, database connection. And before you being able to connect your website to a database, you need to create the database first. And the database is uh, a place where all your all your files are going to be stored. So let's get started. Now the first thing you need to do is to open a new tab, then type localhost localhost forward slash php php my admin that should be one word one word rather one word php my admin no spaces and it will load this page for us so what we need to do look at this place they said create new database so you're just going to create a new database call it anything you want for me i'm going to call it ninja loaded ninja loaded db and i'm going to click on create uh oh there's an error here telling me i have this database already so i'm going to delete all these ones uh, so i just deleted the old database that i created so i'm just going to type ninja loaded db again and click on create after that, you notice that you have database Naja loaded has been created successfully. And one other thing I want you to understand in this place because we are going to be using it is this. Now this place, this, this read down, if you look down here, you see your configuration files contain settings. Root with no password. That means root is your username. And that username has no, excuse me, that username has no password. So let's go back to our configuration settings here yeah? then click on let's go now in this place you should enter your database name here database now this username you don't know what to put there like i said before your this your php admin is just open it doesn't have any password and they're using root as the username so what you need to do is just to type root here and in the password you remove this and every other thing is leave it default and click on submit now when to submit they said all right sparky you have made through the part of installation wordpress can now communicate with your database if you are ready so i'm just going to click on run the installation oh it's taking time because it's installing your database now this place i'm going to type the site title i think the site title is nigerloaded.com then username i'm going to set my username uh why not i'm going to call it my name kapaski so for those of you who don't know how to spell my name this is the real spelling kapaski all right so i'm going to put a password here uh, i'm going to call it any password you don't need to know that uh, so is that very weak and i don't care if it's weak or not so this is my email you can send me messages from here and this place said allow search engines to index this site. Uh, that is a very good thing for you to allow because you need Google to know that you, you've created the website. Then click on install WordPress. And uh, this place, I think I should not remember the password because I'm going to be using it often. So it's loading, loading, loading. And boom, it's done. Success. Ah, I like hearing this word, success. So what you need to do let me go back to my php my admin remember when we created the database we didn't input any tables but for now if you open this your database you see tables like as you can see them here as you can see them here you now have what tables so what this uh installation does for you is just to automatically create the tables that he needs the needed table automatically creates them for you and organize them in a way that you yourself you cannot if you want to do it uh, i know you can anyway all right so the next thing you're going to do is just to click on login if your own don't didn't show you this in then you can just type them in click on what login and it's loading 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 down and boom 
this is your wordpress application ready to be used okay the next thing i'm going to show you is just to visit your website and see how it looks like oh it's gonna look boring okay and boom this is the boring the most boring website i have ever seen on earth so the next tutorial we are going to teach you how to take off this hello world shit i kind of dislike hello world okay so i'm going to teach you how to install new template and teach you basic things about dashboards and the rest okay so just stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe it's kabaski again see you next time